the storm watch for you. The sun is out across the Carolinas, but officials say that does not necessarily mean safety. Rising floodwaters from Hurricane Florence paralyzed parts of the state. President Trump announcing he will visit the state tomorrow. CBS 4's Meg Oliver is near Raleigh, where the rivers are still cresting. The Cape Fear River has taken over Kurt Reed's backyard. The only way I can describe this is, is like a, a, a creeping death, you know, because there's nothing you can do to stop it. This is what it looked like last night. He says it's the worst flooding his neighborhood has ever seen. Matthew got up to about the top of that berm, and that was supposed to be the most severe flooding they've had around here in over 50 years. Hurricane Florence and now epic flooding have forced the evacuation of over 200,000 people in North Carolina. Nearly 350,000 homes and businesses are without power. More than 2,200 people have been rescued. The storm also spawned tornadoes, funnel clouds, and water spouts. Some rivers are cresting today, but others are expected to keep rising through Saturday. As more rivers crest and spill over roadways, more bridges like this one are shut down across the state. Rising creeks, streams, and rivers continue to make travel unsafe in many areas of our state. Large parts of Interstate 40 look like a river with all four lanes underwater. Sections of I-95 are also closed along with 1,100 smaller roads. Some good news, two routes into Wilmington are now open for crews to resupply the city. It had been completely cut off by rivers. Now the state has called up marine vessel Cape Ray from Florida to bring in large amounts of fuel, food, and rebuilding equipment by sea. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Lillington, North Carolina.